Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we're gonna make a dish called steak gorgonzola. So this is all the ingredients you need, cream cheese, butter, obviously you're going to need some steak, and half and half. You can also use heavy whipping cream, gorgonzola cheese, very important, parmesan cheese for our homemade Alfredo sauce, balsamic vinegar, it's really good and vital to the dish. We'll need olive oil, protein pasta, the only type of pasta I use now, sun-dried tomatoes, fresh spinach, or you can get the kind in the frozen section, either or is good. And these are my seasonings. I use some sea salt, some onion powder. I was trying to focus it, but obviously it's not working. <laughs> Garlic powder, red pepper, black pepper, Creole seasoning, and some measuring cups if I need to measure anything. So first things first, in a large bowl, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut up my steak into strips. For me, it's easier to um, cut the steak up into strips because I feel that you can get all of the marination in it better, if that's a word. <laughs> it can just basically marinate better when it's cut up into strips like this. And then I go ahead and season it. First, I'm gonna use the Creole seasoning and I don't have measurements to how much seasoning that I'm using. Season with what you wanna season with, that's onion powder and also sea salt. And you know, season your food to taste. Garlic powder, red pepper, and then the only thing I want to measure is the balsamic vinegar because this stuff you want to be very careful with. It has a very strong flavor. It's vital to the dish, but you don't want the flavor to be too strong. I use one fourth the cup of that. And then I take some black pepper and go ahead and sprinkle that out. Now I'm going to stir it all together and I'm going to let this meat marinate for at least 30 minutes. If you can do it longer than that, the longer the better, but at least 30 minutes. While that is marinating, I'm gonna go ahead and start on our homemade Alfredo sauce. And we're gonna have some cream cheese and butter, one whole stick of butter and one whole container of cream cheese and mix it up together. And then you see Bay comes in with the fork because it's obviously a lot easier to do this with the fork than it is the wooden spoon. It's just gonna go by much quicker. I'm also using a pretty shallow pan for this video and it's best that you make the sauce in a deeper dish because it can get messy. Okay, so this is just what it's going to start to look, look like. And I'm cooking this on a medium to high heat. And you wanna just stand by this. This is not the type of thing you wanna like walk away from. So we're gonna start off with first at least a cup of that half and half and whisk it in slowly. You don't wanna add too much half and half and make the dish a little bit too loose. So just let it bubble a little bit, whisk it around. And then I went ahead and added the rest of the half and half. And once I get in a nice amount of the half and half, then I'm going to add about a half a cup more. So total count, we've added a cup and a half at this point. And after that, it's safe to go ahead and add the cheese. And the cheese that I like to use is the Parmesan cheese. I get it over from the deli section. And I like it better than the cheese that comes in the bag, like the Kraft. I mean, I'll use it in a pinch, but I really like this cheese that comes into the container like this. You can even use grated cheese, but obviously the more fresh of cheese that you use, the better this dish and the better Alfredo sauce you're going to have overall. And just slowly whisk that cheese in because too much of it, you're gonna get one whole big hard ball of cheese and that's no fun to whisk out. You will be whisking forever. Now that it's boiling, we're gonna season the sauce. I like to use garlic powder. Fresh garlic is my favorite, but surprisingly, I didn't have any. Well, not surprisingly, because it's my favorite, so running out of it black pepper, Italian seasoning, and red pepper. 
and I'm just gonna whisk that up. You don't have to add a lot of seasoning to a Fredo sauce. The cheese is already going to, you know, provide the flavor that you want. So you don't really have to do a whole lot more here. You just wanna give it a sprinkle of flavor in other words. And I'm going to taste it, see how it is off camera. And now we're just boiling the noodles. Nothing fun or interesting going on over here. And I use protein pasta because it's a lot healthier for you than standard pasta. And my family cannot tell the difference, so it's a win. Now I'm going to put some olive oil on that griddle skillet here. I really like this skillet for browning meats. I originally got this for like breakfast, so it's also good if you need to like cook bacon or sausage or eggs in large quantity. Just throwing that out there, it's really good and it's inexpensive as well. I spent $14 on Amazon for this. So I'm going ahead and and take that marinated meat and lay it right on the hot skillet. Make sure that the skillet is hot because I wanna get a nice char on the steak. And you wanna let it cook at least three to four minutes on one side before you flip it. I'm going to take a fork and just make sure I'm separating it some because as you can see, it can kind of clump together. Now you can see that nice char that's on the steak and so freaking good. I like to cook the steak at least to uh, a medium to a medium well. And this should be your finished product right here. Look how yummy and juicy that steak looks. And we're gonna cover it and just let it rest. Now we're gonna cook the spinach and I use that whole entire bag because since it's fresh spinach, it cooks down to basically nothing. You'll see later on in the video. If you use the frozen spinach, it has a little bit more in that box. All right, now it's time to add everything together. First, you're gonna add the cheese sauce. Now, I used a lot of steak for this recipe because I made a pretty nice size bowl of it for the video. So I actually had to go back and make more sauce. I did exactly what I did in the beginning. And if you're using this amount of steak, what you wanna do from the jump is just double the ingredients. So double the half and half cream cheese and butter. Now we're gonna make a balsamic vinegar glaze. This goes on top. This is totally not optional, okay? You have to make the glaze, and the glaze is so delicious. I promise you, just make the glaze. So we're gonna take about a cup of sugar and mix it in with the balsamic vinegar. And it only takes two seconds. You just basically want to see this get to a nice boil. Once, it has, once it's at a nice boil, then it's done. All right, now we're going to add our gorgonzola cheese. Make sure the pot is off of the heat because you don't want your gorgonzola cheese to just melt down. You kind of want it in clumps. This is what's going to make it very um, distinctive from the Parmesan cheese that's already in there. It already has a distinct flavor, but you want chunks of it, basically. Now we're gonna add our sun-dried tomatoes and fold everything in. You see how much spinach that is? Not a lot, huh? Fold everything in because you don't want it to mush up on you. Now I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of that balsamic vinegar glaze on top and some parsley and look at that. Hey guys, hey. welcome back to our channel. It's Kai and Candy. And as you can see today, I showed y'all how to make one of my favorites and one of my family favorites. It's called steak gorgonzola. It's actually a recipe from Olive Garden. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like in the bowl. Look how good gooey gooey this pasta is the steak spinach tomato cheese it is so good it really and, is. <laughs> <laughs> and then i just have some garlic bread here regular texas toast you can yellow freezer section and some simply lemonade raspberry lemonade so oh, is that 15 calories <laughs> no nah. oh. this is um just like oh okay. yeah 
Yep. Stop. <laughs> you go I'm, like, I'm thirsty, so I'm going to go ahead and pour myself in the but you can. Okay. So, um, the reason why we chose this dish, you guys said that you wanted to see more of a... Hold on, hold on, stop. So, the camera freaking died, y'all. And we, <laughs> of course, have already started eating. So, all, we were, all I was talking about was how we started to eat steak gorgonzola. Um, I, when I first moved here, she was taking me to Olive Garden and she would always want to get like the steak gorgonzola dish. And I'm like, what is this? Cause normally you just go to Olive Garden for regular things like chicken alfredo, shrimp alfredo, maybe lasagna, mm -hmm. things like that. Um, but she's like, I don't know, like she, I don't even know what's in the steak gorgonzola, but it's really, really it's good. Really good. And just try it and tried it and oh my god it was so freaking good like if you could just like describe the flavors of it i guess okay so let me talk about why i, I started getting this dish um i, I didn't actually say that last time no i actually um make a good alfredo myself from scratch and I'm a very good lasagna make, uh, maker as well so i'm actually going to make lasagna for you guys later on mm -hmm. Not today, but later on. Mm -hmm. um, but we would go to Olive Garden, and I just did not enjoy it for some reason because I'm just like, I like how I make it. So um, I was with somebody, and they got this dish. And normally for me, it's a lot of different things going on with this dish. And I would normally, I'm very basic sometimes, so yeah. this is like very big for me to even want to try. But um, when I tried it, the flavors just came together so nicely. So um in this dish it's like uh it's gorgonzola cheese which is sort of like a blue cheese but a little different um more creamy i guess than what a blue cheese would be it melts a little bit better and um also it has the sun-dried tomatoes which gives it a nice i guess fresh sweet, fit, sweet fresh feel to yeah. it um so yeah and um we used to work across the street from Olive Garden. We did. <laughs> yeah. I and so lunchtime, we would order uh, this meal and pick it up, and we would have it all the time. So one day, she looked up the recipe. She's like, "I'm just going. I want to learn how to make this." Yeah. And when she made it, it actually tastes better than Olive Garden. So it became like a hit in, in our house. And I want to learn how to make it because y'all, honestly, it's pricey. Like I'm not just making food for me and Kyle. We have a whole family. So if it's like between let's I don't know sixteen eighteen dollars a person that gets really mm -hmm. expensive and sometimes you just want like restaurant quality. Come on, Romeo, get down, get down. He's always if y'all hear him around, he's always around because we're eating so and he's greedy. But it can get pretty pricey, so that's why I was like I want to try to make it at home. And also, you know when you go to a place like this and normally when they give you steak or shrimp or something, they just give you like a small little portion is so much pasta and mm -hmm. you know when you're at home you can give yourself more of the meat which i like i like the meat is just really really good mm -hmm. i want to say and mention because um she brought it up to me in the grocery store actually when i had to go get more cheese for this <laughs> she asked me what type of steak it was and if i didn't mention and you didn't pay attention to it it is a boneless thin steak that's what it was marketed as like a sandwich steak um we got it from bj's we got it from bj's the wesley farms brand and this has been one of our favorite cuts because that was like kind of the hard thing when i first made this dish was trying to figure out what cut of steak to, to use because you want a good you want a steak that has a little bit of a chew but it's still tender so mm -hmm. this was perfect like Perfect, perfect, perfect. And I think it took the marinade very, very well. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a really good dish. And I know it looks, it may look like a, it's a little bit more complicated. When I put everything out on the counter to make this dish, and as I was going through the steps, I was like, this is a lot of steps, but I promise you that the time can go by really, really quick. If I wasn't recording, I probably could make this dish in under an hour, I would say. Yeah. And it's just so good. I mean, it's like restaurant quality dish. It's really, 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 it really good. Is. It's tasty. It's something you can make to impress somebody. Um, you can also make this dish, I guess, keto. Because we actually use. Oh, yeah, we used to eat a keto, actually. 
We used um, protein pasta this time. Well, protein pasta, this one isn't keto. I want to put that out there for the keto police because they will tear us up. <laughs> this isn't keto, but when I was eating keto and I would make this because I would still make this for them, what I would do is I would eat everything besides the pasta. So I would put all my stuff to the side in a bowl and just eat the meat, the gorgonzola cheese, the spinach. I would add extra spinach to it, and that's how I would eat it. And it's still very good it's super filling y'all see i can't even finish it don't ever get used to me finishing <laughs> anything on a mukbang because i don't finish plates at all really because you know got a sensitive stomach designer stomach as my mom likes to call it but yeah the dishes look so good i'm waiting for the both of us yeah she always, she always <laughs> for the both of us i'm just kind of weird now to be eating for two but still feels like i'm not eating for two at all and I ask her all the time like do I eat like a pregnant woman I eat like a pregnant woman in the sense I eat a lot of weird things mm -hmm. like um, my weirdest combination date probably she would say is like the orange orange juice and vanilla ice cream mm -hmm. she thought that was so weird and gross um what else do I eat that's kind of strange um, you eat pizza a lot oh I love pizza mm -hmm. I love, and I mean I'm not even a good kind like the cheap five dollar hot and ready type of pizza is my favorite i love anything with a red sauce so and that red sauce can be like taco red sauce it can be marinara sauce spaghetti sauce salsa anything with like a red tomato that's what it is tomato base i also can mm -hmm. eat um raw tomatoes now i used to didn't be able used to <laughs> I, <laughs> Previously, I never ate raw tomatoes. I only ate cooked tomatoes, but now like on my sub sandwich, when I do eat it, I like to eat tomatoes on it. Very yeah. right different. Um, and you used to like uh, red onions a lot, and now she don't like red onions. I tried it the other day at the Outback. It was the Outback. I didn't film it. Um, and it was, it was okay. It wasn't like I had an obsession at one point for red. I had to eat red onions on a salad. Every single, I couldn't have a salad with red onions, like legit. I still eat salads like that, so I hope that she will like to eat a lot of veggies because I do eat a lot of veggies right now. Um, what else do I eat a lot of? Pasta. I love lots of pasta. <clears throat> well, as much as I can eat, as you can <laughs> see, but I do love the taste of pasta, um, sweet stuff. Yeah, she will eat like this, but... In about 20 minutes, she'll be ready to eat more. Yeah. So, May maybe. I don't know. It's kind of late because we had to go back to the store and, like, it took a lot to really film. I kind of underestimated since this is my first time exactly how much time I needed. So, it's, like, 10, 10 right now. I don't know. If I take a shower, I might be so tired that I lay it down. and it, you know, I'm pretty full because, you know, I'm about, to, uh, I'm about to get ready to go to bed. So, to be honest with y'all, that's all we... We do. We just go to bed <laughs> pretty early. Earlier than most people. Pretty about eleven. Yeah. I, we used to stay up to like one, two, sometimes. It was back in our like back club, in day. club club days. Mm -hmm. Tito shots and stuff, and obviously I ain't popping those type of vibes no more. <laughs> so yeah. Um, we wanted to also say thank y'all for 5k. Yes. Uh, we realized we're almost at 6k. So yeah, so we, we're really embarrassed that, that we're just addressing that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but thank y'all, like, really so much. It's really amazing to me, and even to her. I love watching her reactions to like everything. She's like, Oh, babe, we got babe, we just got 4,000 views, and it's like, it's only been. 48 hours. It's, it's so amazing. And, you know, because I've been on YouTube, obviously, you know, probably since YouTube started. I'm one of the old gal, old gals of the YouTube. But for her, everything is completely new. She's just, of course, watched me be on this journey on YouTube, but kind of never really understood the behind the scenes of it. So now she's seeing everything and, of course, being a part of the production, mm -hmm. she's super excited about this. I love watching her It's just amazing. Reaction. It's amazing to me that somebody will want to watch, like, us. My hair. 
<laughs> Always everywhere. I know. But it's, it's amazing to me the support that we get from you guys. You know, it really, really just touches my heart because I appreciate all the comments, the positive comments that we get from you guys. We get a lot of negative comments, so those positive comments really, really help they us help. to push forward <laughs> and want to do this even more. So yeah. I really, really appreciate that, and it just makes me feel good every day when I wake up and I see all of the nice comments that you guys send in. Yeah, it, it is. It's amazing to be on here. So we want to just, as like a token of our appreciation, we wanted to do just a small giveaway for you all. Um, so it's going to be one person. If we could give y'all something, Lord knows we would. But we got to hit like the mega million first. <laughs> um, so we're just going to give away to one lucky winner a $25 Amazon gift Your card. Because we, we were going to do a restaurant, but it can be so hard to know what y'all like to eat. Comment down below, though, what type of restaurant y'all like so we can get a feel of that for when we want to do a future giveaway. Yeah, it's going to be hard because doing a restaurant, restaurants are not worldwide sometimes. That's true. So it's like we might have a restaurant here, but it might not be in another state. That's true. That's true. All right, right well, scratch off the restaurant thing. Everybody can use Amazon, though. Everyone, no matter where you're at, I think Amazon. I'm pretty sure Amazon is worldwide in every single country probably by mm -hmm. now. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure Amazon is worldwide at this point. So, all you have to do to enter the giveaway, you have, of course, you gotta be subscribed to our channel. But that's just no brainer. Subscribe to Candy and Kai. Mm -hmm. You also need to follow us on our social medias. Minds that I prefer you guys follow me on is Life of Candy. I just said I have Life of Candy, I have Ivy Pretty Faces, but I prefer for this channel you follow me on Life of Candy because. It's more things pertaining to this channel over there than my beauty page. Mm -hmm. But either or is fine, whichever you want to do. And also comment, just leave us a comment down below. Like the comment can say anything besides enter me. I don't like, because that's spam the video, don't enter me or anything. Just a comment, you know, whether you love the recipe, hated the recipe, if you want to try it, if you love how Olive Garden, hate Olive Garden, whatever, mm -hmm. just leave a comment down below. And you do all those three things then you will be qualified to win $20 Amazon gift card. And when should we announce the winner? The winner, what's, what, what, what's today's date? Today is February 15th. So we'll just do it March 1st. March 1st, yeah. Okay. March 1st. So you have a good solid almost two weeks to enter the giveaway. And we'll mention the giveaway in other videos so that y'all can come back, our OGs, in case you maybe skip over this video for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. You'll know about it. Um, we definitely want to do more mukbangs. I was a little apprehensive because, I don't know, mukbangs are scary, y'all. <laughs> they, they are. Like, mukbang gotta be the scariest thing for somebody that gas you by <laughs> surgery. <laughs> like, it's like, I don't want y'all to come here and watch me eat four bites. Like, that's no fun, but at least I have her now and she's willing to do this type of stuff. Because this is something else that if she would have never create this channel with me she would have been like you want to do what on camera exactly. hell no <laughs> i'm not eating on camera <laughs> listen i would never even thought that i would be sitting here on camera so yeah. let alone eat yeah so this is just like big for me all together oh, thanks, babe. <laughs> I mean, you really came a long far away and i'm so happy are you happy that we made a channel though i am i am i appreciate everybody yeah but anyways y'all we don't want to keep y'all going too long i realize this video is probably going to be pretty long considering the fact that i did the recipe up front um hopefully y'all all will love this recipe let me know if you try out the recipe our p.o box and our registry will be down below for mm -hmm. our baby girl so if you're interested in sending anything which we're so appreciative of you can just click down below in the description box and do that and do you have anything to say before we end? I got a mouthful of food. It's really, really good. I promise y'all. <laughs> if you try it, make sure you do let us know. Um, let us know if you like our recipe or if you had it out good. If you even like it there. All right. All right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. We'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.